How are you guys? We are Hop Curious. Welcome to Sampler Series with our UK beers. You, you. Stuff that I brought back from my trip to Europe. Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> uh, this one was one of the first ones I grabbed. Peaver Pilsner. And I uh, figured I'd start with something light, a little crisp. It does say herb on there. So if you guys aren't familiar with the spiciness of a Pilsner, sometimes it's described as herbily. Herbally, so, uh, herby, herbaceous, herbalicious. Okay, made by the Dutch Rijnskabat. The Dutch. So, uh, say that again. <laughs> Rijnskabat. <laughs> Rijnskabat is uh, the German thing, but it says does say Dutch and Rijn, Rijn, Rijnskabat, uh, which are the the German beer purity laws. Okay. Can only be three ingredients, no additives. Um, I think they were made before yeast was even counted as an ingredient. Oh, so really? It might not be included in that equation. So, hop grains and. But they might just kind of like keep repitching, you know, like that's. They're like, oh, well, it's a leftover, so we can just pitch that into the next one, into the next one, into the next one. Right. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. Which uh, country did you get that beer? Uh, so, I bought this when we flew into Denmark. Oh, wait. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Poor, poor little uh, <laughs> smaller taster. Sm yeah, sorry about that, you guys. Um, now, now, now we all have to pour like, next to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. Flew, flew into Denmark. Um, took the... Uh, <laughs> took a taxi to our hotel. And then uh, my sister and I went on a walk around the corner. And this was one of the first ones that I saw. I grabbed it. Um, I was kind of surprised I really didn't see a whole lot of just pilsners there. Maybe I was like, nah, I, mean, I think I might have been looking for other things. But, uh, as far as bottled, there was a surprising lot of IPAs. It smells like a Bud Light. It's like extremely filtered. You can extremely see, filtered. You can see through it. It's well, it's clear. a lager yeast, it's which like might have something to do with it also. We're typically used to drinking ales. Oh, yeah, yeah. It? Lager to add a colder yeast. Yeah. It smells like a colder tan. It looks like a light. Golden, crisp, light, refreshing yeah, Not much, there's like probably no specialty malts, I'm sure. It's probably just straight. It's kind of grainy at the end. It's pilsnery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very crisp, <laughs> refreshing, obviously. But uh, it's better than a butt light. Better than a butt light, definitely. definitely. It actually has like something on the tail end. That... There's a character in the yeast, maybe. Yeah. Uh, and, and a little it's definitely European on the back of the tongue. A little something. You know, just something more interesting than nothing. Yeah, true. It's good. It's crisp and refresh refreshing. I feel like you could crush like a hundred of these. Yeah, definitely. This, yeah, this would be a good beer to bring to a summer percent. party. Yeah. 4.9, yeah. Very light. So what crisp. Like? Refreshing. <laughs> You guys get any herbals? If anyone that? is watching this who's like from this area. Like, so so how did you say it, that? Like it just light. it tastes like a kind of just like a light beer. Like I don't know. It tastes like a Heineken. Yeah, like a Heineken <laughs> or like a Stella-ish, mm -hmm. but like less percentage. Mm -hmm. Or like yeah, like the Heineken taste and yeah, less of a scum. Bex. Mm -hmm. Bex. Okay, less yeah, Bex. Ooh, Bex. But... Oh my, I haven't had Bex in so long. It's like kind of what it reminds me of. It's not awful. Pool party, Fries, late night summer beach party. Fries, Ooh, mm. By the beach, I drink but, yeah. Fries, I got a question for you guys. Okay. In what situation would you buy this beer? When I'm in Europe and I pop into a quick little uh, well, you're, you're convenience store. You're and, so uh, broad. <laughs> and there was a situation. Looking for something that to bring I was back. Representative. Buying this. I feel like it'd be like one of those things where, yeah, I'm in Europe, I'm at a liquor store, and I'm walking on my way to go to a bar, and so I, I need, need something, something to pound, pound real, real quick. quick. <laughs> this would be the beer to pound uh, real quick. Yeah, you're, you're on <laughs> the walk. Not even on the walk, like right when you walk outside of the liquor store, you pop it, pound it, <laughs> throw it throw in the trash, trash can, can, and just get... walk across the street to the bar. Yeah, get this party started. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, I think that's a good... It's a good party beer. It's a good, it's a good start to like a party beer. It's almost It'd like, be like a summer thing. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's 
It would be like, I guess, in comparison to our Bud Light sure. or our Coors or something like that. So, like, you kind of... Yeah, it is one of the It's a little reminiscent of that. But, yeah, like yeah. Jeff said, it, it has that more, like, Heineken taste. And so. you're notoriously not into light beers, so... Mm -hmm. I think my situation would be... Before you have dinner, you crack open a charcuterie board with a bunch of, you know, meats and crackers and whatever, and then you open this beer at that situation. That's nice. That's nice. That's if I, if I, this is the beer that you open to prepare your charcuterie board. Ooh, okay. That's better. <laughs> better. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, because right. it's like, all right, real quick, you can <laughs> like... Try a little bit of something and it'll, it'll okay. do a decent job cleansing this the palate. Is, and you're like, okay, that's preparation good. Beer. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, because on that, <laughs> on that plate, you're probably, you, you know, you want probably more like an IPA or like a something nice a little heavier. Wine, yeah. with or a wine. With, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wine. Food preparation mm. beer. Wine. Or you just killed the pig. It's going to be used for different, different dishes everywhere. Oh, wine. And you need uh, some, uh, some, some fuel. We definitely don't talk about wine. We should do a wine tasting. Great curious. With the charcuterie curious. board. Vine, vine curious. <laughs> vine curious. I like it. Oh, this cut will not suffice. What about you, Anson? When would you... Uh... I'm, I'm going with, like, you know, late later in the evening backyard yard barbecue, you know, with the fire might be started already, but you're starting a you know, food prep beer, boom. You're, you get a couple of these to start your barbecue going, you know, you get the fire stoked and then... When you serve something for dinner and you upgrade you know, right, to you a got, bolder flavor. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. a little more tasty. Yeah. But yeah, beach bonfire. Mm -hmm. It's like what you drink summer, it's summer, before it's a summer you beer. drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, uh, <laughs> God. Uh, now you're just trying. <laughs> Obviously, don't drink and drive. <laughs> Uber and drive. Drink, Uber. drink and Uber. Or it's Uber and drink. Of, it's kind you know of what I meant. A collection of like little children's teardrops. It's so pure. And <laughs> so innocent. <laughs> innocent. It's an innocent beer, you know? <laughs> wow. Alright, what about you, Bobs? Where I would... <laughs> I, I was kind of using the food prep. Oh, you're going food prep? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn, everyone's We're on, on agreement. We're on agreement. Uh, I'm the only one who would like to pound this before no, I, I do. I do I go pound somewhere. it before you go food prep. I feel like this is like the I'm after prepping, work. Um, so everyone would like to drink this in preparation for, for something else. Right. This is like the after work. <laughs> I'm waiting beer. for the rest of the, like the homies to show up at right. the spot. And I'm just going to get something in case I have to like pound it or, you know, I wouldn't leave it. But Like... I have a brown paper bag and I have this bottle of beer. Oh, you guys finally got here. Hey, let's and try this IPA. Am I going to drink Old English or am I going to drink Still Reserve or I'm going to drink cool. this Pilsner? <laughs> well, I can pound this Pilsner. I probably can't drink the other two that quickly, so take the Pilsner. What about, it could be an airport beer and you have like an hour to go. That's a it. great, yes. I would go to this for an airport beer. Case two of them. Case they call two of them in between your layover. Yeah, well, I mean, like yeah, an like hour layover three, where you like, you can't like, you can't get like a huge, one, two, two large ones. One every 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what would you guys rate this beer? Going with a two. You going on taste or on style? I'm going with everything. Every, overall? E overall, overall, everything. Okay. Taste, style, etc. If this, if it was like a Bud Light, this would be a one, but... Good thing this is not a Bud Light, and I'm trying it because a friend had it, so it's a two. <laughs> I'm not tossing it. All right. I would rate this a three. I would recommend it to a friend because it's a utility beer. Yeah, it, good, there's good nothing call. wrong with it, but there's nothing good about it. It just it is. It is. So it it's, is. It's, it's that kind middle ground. Of I would right. go. It just exists. I would go with a. I'd go with a only because. I like light beers. I would bring this. I would bring this to a, to a friend and share that with them. So four. I like the bottle too, and that experience is kind of cool. The label. Three, oh, wait. Recommend four, five, five. Recommend to five. Well, I thought uh, would buy. Oh, five. Buy it buy it. I'd bring a six back to a friend's house oh, for so sure. Oh, so you'd buy it. You'd buy oh, so, a six. Yeah, I just. I mean, I, I'm already seeing myself here bringing a six pack of this mm -hmm. you know, to your next pool party. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, Unvex. Right. So the Unvex. utilityness of the beer. Whatever has yeah. to be. It's again it's utility, bro, but it, it has to be it's Vex, dude. Hit us up, dude, if you're still around. Let us know. <laughs> no, that non-alcoholic stuff. Yeah. That's the only time I see it. No, that's yeah. St. Paulie's. Vex is around. No, Vex has a non-alcoholic, Vex had, and that's Vex like been one. the last five times I've seen it. No, was way. the non-alcoholic version. Yeah. You're lying. Really? We should do a taste on. I that. bet they're still around. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's already an idea. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, they control that non-alcoholic yeah. beer game, right? Yeah. The taste worst, worst beer ever. The, here, here's, what about you, Bob? That's the title. So I would drink this before starting the rest of our bottle share. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> I would uh, rate this, I would rate it a three, kind of same as Jeff, because it's a Pilsner, it mentions herbally on there, but I mean, I was searching hard, trying to dig deep, and you know, gl like I said, glad I'd stab this at the beginning, because uh, if this were after any other beer, like, it would just be water, like, there's nothing there that really made it stand out. It's a hydration beer. So it's you like, still, you if you, but more like a European if you were already buzzed and you started drinking this, this would just make you want to go to the bathroom. 